This morning, 48 Hours has more details about the murder of a Florida woman in her own home, a case that went unsolved for decades. Linda Slayton was killed in 1981, and her two young sons spent years living in fear of an unknown man they called the monster. Nearly 40 years after the crime, DNA led police to their mother's killer. It turns out he was someone so close to the family that one son had his photo hanging in his home. Jim Maxelrod has the 48 Hours investigation. September 4th, 1981, was the day these men say their childhood ended. Jeff Slayton and his younger brother, Tim, had been awakened by police and told their mother had been murdered. I'd have died that night trying to save my mom, but I didn't hear nothing. And it's so hard to live with that. Lakeland, Florida police hustled the boys outside, but Tim, still in his pajamas, caught a glimpse of his mother's body. She had been raped and strangled. I saw the whole crime scene right then and there as a 12-year-old kid. Investigators collected a rape kit and a palm print lifted from the windowsill where the killer had entered her apartment. Cops questioned a slew of suspects, but no one was charged. The boys moved in with their grandparents. Soon, they were back in school. Just started living life again, I guess. You know, going back to football. Linda Slayton was a divorced mom, and coach Joe Mills had stepped in to help. He's my friend, giving me rides to games, rides to practice. And I looked up to this guy. Before long, the case went cold and stayed that way for nearly four decades. I'm probably going to take my last breath and I'll know who murdered my mom. But advances in DNA technology led to renewed hope. And that carefully stored rape kit revealed an unlikely suspect, Coach Joe. Now those car rides to practice looked a lot different. He'd ask us how the case was going. He wouldn't ask questions. About he just, what, is any new news or any new leads? And I was like, no, nothing, you know. He's talking to a 12-year-old boy and trying to keep tabs on a murder investigation through the, the son of the murdered woman? Yeah. Yes. When he knows exactly who did it? He's a cold holder monster, that's for sure. Jim Axelrod joins us Jeez. now to talk about this. Jim, wow. good morning. So what do police believe happened here? Well, the police thought that Coach Joe, who you just saw, had dropped the kid off and then circled back several hours later when mom and the boys were out of the apartment, broke in through a bedroom window, hidden in a closet. Mm -hmm. Mom comes home with the boys, says goodnight, comes in her room, and out the attacker comes and mm -hmm. wow. Did he know, did they, was there something going on between the two of them? What is the motive here? There was not. The, the, the real story that you're going to see tomorrow night is a story of police having this guy talking to him the day after the murder. Did they suspect him at any time? That's the no. thing, Gail. He was, they talked to him on the phone. Wow. They didn't take any fingerprints. They didn't do a face-to-face -face interview. So he wasn't considered a suspect, even though he was within sight of the apartment, mm -hmm. uh, as he admitted to the cops. 24 hours before, but this, as, as much of this is a story of a hideous and heinous and yeah. brutal crime, it's also a story about how cutting-edge technology can reach back into time nearly four decades and solve a case that had become among the coldest that the Lakeland, Florida Police Department wow. had ever dealt with. But I feel for those boys. I do. It's Me a too. lead when you said he had a picture of him in his room, yeah. the killer in his room. And, and yeah. all those memories yes. now change. Yes. This, this idea, uh, think about this for a second. Yeah. This kid who's 12, yes. has a picture on his wall of his team, which, which, by the way, assumes even more meaning in the wake of this crime. He's looking for somewhere mm -hmm. to just sort of spend some time, so it's his football. Mm. And who's over his shoulder on the picture, the team picture? Yeah. The guy who killed his mother. Wouldn't find out for decades. Good on the Lakeland Police Department for keeping that rape kit all That's those right. years. That's, That's right. right. Keeping it in, in good condition. Hopefully that family will find some justice. Uh, Jim Maxerod, thank you very much. Fascinating story. You can see Jim's report, The Betrayal of Linda Slayton, on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS and on Paramount+. Plus.